welcome back to my world. Now, uh, today I've got a tutorial that a number of people have actually asked for, and that is how to limit the amount of people that is on a team. Uh, now, it's only really that bit over here that you will need, which is uh, one command block with a hopper clock connected to it, uh, one output with a long line of uh, redstone, uh, two, well, this top one is actually optional, but two uh, command blocks and a couple of um, redstone repeaters. Right, so let's jump in. So the f what this command block over here does, it tests for the amount of people in the red team. Now, it'll output put a signal strength based on the amount of people. So it'll output one signal strength per person. So if you have a look on the right hand side, you'll see one, two, three, four four people in the in the red team and if you count the signal strength one two three four right so there's four people in uh, the red team so I'm just going to uh, remove myself so you'll now see now that I've removed myself there's one two three people in uh, the the red team so this is how you can actually determine how many players there are but how do you stop them from joining Okay, so what I've done is, um, you can automate this, but I thought to keep things simple, this will just be a manual process. So uh, you've got your long length string of uh, redstone running over here, okay, that'll determine the length of, uh, of the, the amount of players. Then I've got another red, uh, piece of redstone running directly parallel to it, one block apart, that runs into uh, a, a redstone repeater that will now act as a lock for this repeater here. Okay, so I've got a button over woo, over there. Wee. Okay, I've got a button over here that if I press it, I will join the red team. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Dragnoz has joined the red team. So you'll see it on the side. There's now f uh, four people in the team, and you'll see the score of four over there. So I'm just going to go back into the green team. Okay, so what happens is when I hit this button, there's a th uh, four, three tick, four tick delay that runs into uh, this uh, redstone repeater over here, which will be can be locked with this repeater over here, that runs into this command block that just says scoreboard team, join the red uh, team, any player that's within the radius of 10. So I'm, I'm being lazy, I'm not using coordinates, but you, you want to have the coordinates of this red block here. And then just directly above it, it's just a normal say command that says, anybody who's in a 10 block radius, who is on the team red, say their name, has joined the red team okay so if you go back and you'll ever see that's where it says dragnos has joined the red team okay so now if i want to actually limit if somebody can uh, the amount of people that can actually join i need to put a a repeater okay uh, at the uh, the maximum amount of players i want to allow okay so if i put uh, the repeater for example here by three and i say i don't want any more players than three okay this um, command block will keep on testing uh, so it'll always output a signal of three so when there's three people in it'll then activate this redstone signal which will then lock uh, this redstone repeater over here which will block any signal coming from this uh, button over here so you'll see nothing happens because it's now been blocked right so if I take this out so you'll see I was I was it didn't add me. If I now say okay I'm a, I'm I'm going to allow four people on the team. If I now hit this button, you'll see it's now unlocked. So that's not power. It's unlocked and it'll now add me to the team. There we go. You see Dragnos has joined the red team. All right. Now if anybody else tries to join the red team, um, let me just really get somebody. Right. Okay. Cool, so he's going to now try, try and join the red team, and you'll see he'll press the button, but nothing happens. Okay, he will stay in the green team because uh, I have set a limit of uh, four members. Now, if I remove this, um, uh, this redstone repeater over here and I say, fine, I'm going to allow five people. Okay, if he now, now tries to join, okay, you'll see, voila, he, he has successfully joined the red team. So you can output... You can output this to up to 15 blocks, I think. I mean, I'll need to go double check. So you can have, in theory, uh, limit the amount of players from, from 1 to 15. Okay, so it's really as simple as that. Now, you can really automate the system uh, by putting in, um, for example, pistons that push a block down that, you know, that activates this 
based on um, a scoreboard variable or something like that okay so um, yeah it can be completely automated but yeah I, um, I hope you guys got the concept that I was trying to show you guys here this world will be up for download um, just as always you'll see that what I have put in here as well is uh, the commands to actually create the teams and set the colors so if it's not running for you just hit these buttons and it will actually create it and set the colors for you so you don't have to do anything at all now as a bonus I'm quickly going to show you show you how this um, this detecting players on a team can also be used to have multiple outputs so you'll see that what I've got here has got a, a command blocks running or a, a line of redstone running into command blocks now I've got a command block that will detect the on state of a uh, redstone signal as well as the off state so when a signal comes on so if I if I leave the team okay uh, you'll see that it now says uh, four members left in the in the red team because I've left the red team. So you'll see that the um, the signal over here is now uh, now dead. Right. If I hit the red team again, okay, you'll see uh, four five members in the red team, and you'll see that the signal is on. How this works is that it powers this um, uh, repeater, which powers this uh, command block, and this command block just says there are five members in the team. Now you'll see I have an inverted signal over here, so that when that signal goes off, okay, the torch turns on and it turns on the command block at the top, which just says four members left in the team. Okay, four members left in the team. And it's just exactly the same for all the others. Now you don't have to have say command blocks, you can have anything. I mean if there's five members in the team, this command block might give them all a bonus of speed. Um, if one mem member leaves the team, it might deduct points from the team. Um, I mean you can use this really in whatever way you see fit. Yeah, um, cool. Yeah, so I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, as always, I appreciate a rate, comment, subscribe, a share if you like if you like this, and uh, the world will be in, in a link in the description and probably somewhere over somewhere over here. I don't know. We'll see. Cool, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, we will all check you all later.